do not go anywhere. In this short video, we're going to be talking about some of Tebis's CAM solutions. And the first one I want to talk about is the feature side of things. So what is it and how does it work? So for Tebis, features is basically a way of recognizing CAD data within the model. Once we've recognized this CAD data and assigned some basic parameters to it, we can then add predefined machining operations to it and use this to drive our programming process. So give me an example, how, how, does that, how does that work? I'm sat down at my station, I've turned my computer on, where do we go from there? So basically we pull in our CAD model, uh, we can basically just scan the, uh, the CAD data that we have and by use of our feature library that we have in the background, um, we have the, all these predefined features that we can then assign to features that are recognized by Tebis within the model. E examples such as a hole, a port, a cavity? Um, Tebis will recognize just about any series of CAD data as long as we've set it up as a feature within the library. So most commonly in, uh, in CAD CAM we'll be looking at 2.5D ruled features such as holes and closed slots and things like that. Um, Tebis is actually op able to do open features, 3D surfacing, um, all the way down to things like vertical machining areas. Seems a daft question, but what are the advantage is? Is it purely down to time? Um, time is always a, a big factor when it comes to programming and when it comes to engineering and delivering jobs on time. But because these uh, features are available across all of the um, workstations within your company, we work with a, a cloud-based library type system, it means that your programming process is consistent and exactly the same for everyone. Mm -hmm. So it means whenever you pull a feature out and use a feature within a, a, a machining operation, that feature is always machined the same way between everyone. And notice the colour coding, so that's for different features which appear the same on the screen, but you, but it's difficult to tell a threaded hole from a, a standard hole. Absolutely. It's be, we found that it's becoming more and more prevalent in the industry that people are using paperless um, manufacturing processes. So traditionally, a model would come in, it'd all be the same colour. If you had a 6mm diameter hole in a, in a component, you can't tell whether that's a threaded hole, whether it's a H7 fitted hole, or whether it's just a plain drilled hole. By using these colour codes, we can determine the um, tolerancing and the actual um, feature involved. Um, as you say, the example of, of, of a threaded hole, if you've got a 6mm plane hole in a, in a model that's coloured yellow, Tebis recognises that yellow colour, assigns that to a threaded feature, and then we wind up with a threaded hole. Tebis can then treat that hole as it needs to be. Very clever. If we take the elements, of, I guess, of, of feature automation, I would call it, if you took that aside, you know, how, long, how much longer would it take to program using CAM without this type of feature automation? Um, essentially, uh, using CAM, if you haven't got feature recognition, you're then in this process where you have to identify each individual hole within the model, uh, possibly measure it within the model, and then create a machining operation that takes care of each of those individual positions within a part. Now, for a lot of people, you might have five, six, seven holes at a time. For an engine manufacturer, they might have 100, 120 holes at a time. The last thing you want to do is spend hours and hours re um, resetting the, the machining parameters mm -hmm. hundreds and hundreds of times when we can just throw a feature into it and let Tebis do the work for you. I guess so, and you've got these five pillars or five libraries that Tebis talk about. How does this work with some of the others? Maybe you know the tooling library is a good place to start. So uh, one of the big things with Tebis features is that we can tie these directly to what we call an NC set. NC set is uh, one of our other libraries and that is a set of predefined machining processes. So the predefined machining processes then automatically select the tooling required for a feature. So with all of these individual libraries working together, we wind up with a very clean, very automated programming process. And again, it's on the cloud, so you've got like a, a common set of rules throughout your machine shop, throughout the machines and the guys programming. Absolutely. Um, all of our libraries are held off of the local um, workstation. So it means that every single person has access to all of the information that everybody else has. It means if something's updated with a newer process, that process is updated for everyone. So Andy, if I can ask you to conclude, the, the advantages seem obvious, but maybe for, in your words, why should somebody use this, this type of uh, system? So Tebis with its uh, full automation, using features tied with our other types of libraries, produces fast, concise, reliable programming, safe in the machine environment with consistent output, easy to control quality and very easy to control time used. Very well put, thank you. And thank you for watching at home. If you want more information, get in touch with Tebis UK.